Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane, this video is part of my underrated game series, and today we're going to be talking about PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games. Guess what guys, we finally made it. This is going to be the last underrated game uh, series video of this year. Number 7. We finally made it. So we're going to start off with Intelligent Cube on the PlayStation 1, 1997 by Sony Computer Entertainment. Wow, that's like one of their older divisions. Um, this game is really fun. I remember my friend Sinchatis uh, kind of like hinting me in on this where where it was just like some really nice music and um, some some fairly simple gameplay and game mechanics, but definitely, definitely difficult to master. Uh, this game is endless, or at least I think it is, because uh, I can only go so far, and then after that I just lose everything. Um, but it's, it's a great game. It is very, very under the radar. Uh, go play it if you like weird action style puzzle games with great music go for it next up we have omega boost playstation 1 1999 again by sony computer entertainment um this is a really weird one where uh the perspective changes really fast it is a 3d environment and it is essentially a 3d shooter but um it's kind of just odd, and things are a little bit fast-paced in this game, but it's great. Uh, I love the cheesy FMVs that are part of it, and, um, you know, they just did a great job. I think this might have been Sony's answer to Star Fox. Um, although I think this is off the rails. It's not really on the rails like Star Fox is. Next we have Psychic Force, PlayStation 1, 1997 by Acclaim. This is a 3D space fighting game, and when I say space, I mean area. You get put in this box, and um, you can either go towards your enemy, or away from them, or above, or rotate around, but essentially, you, you know, you're both flying in this uh, box, and you're, you're slinging, you know, psychic energy at each other and doing certain moves and blocking and stuff. It's it's a very simplistic fighter, but again, difficult to master. And um, I enjoyed it quite a bit, uh, so much so that I actually picked up the second game on the Dreamcast years later. You know, it's, it's a lot of fun, definitely give it a shot. Next, we have Silhouette Mirage, PlayStation 1, released in 2000 by Working Designs. I know, I know, it's another Working Designs game, and I'm trying to get everyone to play every Working Designs game. Yeah, that's true, that's true. I, I want everyone to play every Working Designs game. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll admit to that. You know, this game is... This game is great. You know, there's... Um, you know, there's run and gun elements, there's uh, a little bit of like uh, polarization elements as well, so you know, you have to be red to shoot the, the blue guys, and you have to be blue to shoot the red guys. Kind of a lot, a lot like Ikaruga, um, only if Mega Man and Ikaruga mixed together somehow. Um, very fun, very fast paced. Again, the animated scenes are great because, well, I mean, it's working designs, so what else do you need me to say? Next, we have Gungrave on the PlayStation 2. Yep, I know, I know, we're moving on to the PlayStation 2. It's great, isn't it? Uh, released in 2002 by Sega. Uh, Gungrave was different. Um, it was a very early PlayStation 2 game and uh, it had 
a very gritty, like, manga-style feeling to it, where uh, you were this guy and you were just walking around and gunning people down, and it's, um, it's like all the violence of Deadpool and all of the silliness, or, well, all of the style of Lollipop Chainsaw. Um, it's not really that silly, um, other than, like, how the character looks a little bit. Uh, but uh, it, it's very gritty, it's very dark. Um, they don't give you a lot of breadcrumbs for, for a story early on, but as long as you're getting through it and everything and having fun, you're, you're golden. You know, you'll, you'll keep going. And this game came out, like I said, it came out very early on the PlayStation 2, and then it got passed by. Uh, because bigger and better things came out, and uh, this game essentially never got its fair shake. So, go back and give this game a fair shake. Next up we have Rumble Racing PlayStation 2, released in 2001 by Electronic Arts. Uh, this is the final game uh, of this video, and Rumble Racing is... Again, it's just chaotic. Uh, it's kind of one of those like stupid fun racing games where you're getting the weird power-ups and you're just you're, you're hurling ice balls at people. You're causing tornadoes to happen. Um, you know, you're you're there. There's campy voice acting and stuff. The game really does not take itself seriously, and um, it's great for it. You know, it's. It's like a cross between uh, Ridge Racer and like Mario Kart somehow, where you get all of the silliness and then you get some like fairly mean looking cars that can go a lot faster than what you're used to in a Mario Kart game. So again, like if you're just looking for that off the wall kind of racing game for the PlayStation 2, honestly, I think Rumble Racing is probably what you're looking for. Uh, but, again, like always, guys, if there are any kind of underrated games, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 are the ones I went over in this video for the most part. Um, you know, leave the, leave comments in, in the, uh, you know, leave something in the comments below. Uh, let people know about a game that they should not miss out on. Again, I'm just trying to help you find new games to play, and you know what? You can probably help everybody else here find new games to play. Alright, that's all I've got for you today. Uh, you guys have a great day. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.